Hi guys, Misha Crossing here, back with another Viewer's Dream Town Tours video. I'll be visiting four of your all's dream towns in this video that you all have left for me in the comments. If you want me to visit your town in a video like this, feel free to leave your dream town information um, along with any sort of social media you'd like me to credit and just a brief description of the town so I have kind of an idea of what I'm getting into and all like the different kind of sorts of towns. I'll be visiting. So this town is Snow by a Venoodle something is their YouTube. Didn't leave any other social media to credit and they said it was a very colorful town and I am excited to see it. I think yellow is kind of the main main color in this town and I am digging it. Lots of fruit trees. Very, very vibrant. Oh, the picnic blanket with the what is that even called? I can't remember. Archway statue, maybe? Oh, so yellow, so bright. Oh my god, I love this playground! I love these little, like, kind of patchwork looking paths. Oh, yes, all about this. <laughs> it's so open and airy, bright. Oh, so yellow. Oh my god, look, it's so colorful. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Okay, let's see what's in the houses. Oh, this is really cute. I like the mix of the green series and some of the sloppy stuff. Oh. Oh, this is a precious kitchen! I really- I don't think I've ever used the, uh, Harvest- anything from the Harvest series, but I like the floor in here. Oh, and the veggie basket. Such a good- such a good item to have in a kitchen. It is my favorite thing- like, any kitchen I make has to have a veggie basket in it, pretty much. Oh, a teensy little bathroom. I love, I have know I've said this before, but I, I, you know, I just love homes that are designed realistically with like every kind of functional little room in them. And bathrooms are always really adorable, especially when they're like the teensy tiny rooms. Everything is just so bright and happy and colorful. I want to spend more time in, in all of these places, but I also want to make sure this video isn't too terribly long. Let's look upstairs and downstairs. I didn't even look at the names of the residents. I should do that when I get back outside. Ooh, little astral, well, I guess not, is astral the right word? The astral plane? Um, lunar, a lunar room, maybe, I don't know what the appropriate word is. Oh, oh and there's the little, uh, what's it called, SS Dolphin from Pikmin. I like that. Okay, quick pop. Quick pop into the basement. Oh, I love that bike there. The bike is a really, really good good item. I'm excited to make a new town a little art basement. I like it. Especially with all like the papers scattered on the floor and the crayons back there. But yeah, I'm excited to make my new town eventually, and because this Kodama that, that I made was more of a, uh, obviously a forest overgrown sort of place, and uh, I wanted to make it to where it was there was no sort of modern technology anywhere in it. So that was Juxta, Letty, and then there's Bee and Spider. Oh my goodness. So many places to go, people to see. So very yellow. I keep saying it, but I'm a big fan. Big fan of the yellow. This is a nice area. And of course there's a yellow butterfly fly behind me, making it even more peaceful. Wow, this town is so very cool. I love all the different public works projects. They're laid out and really really cool areas. Ah, Letty's Tavern, okay. Her clothes look so cute. Oh, very cozy. Oh, I want to come 
dine at Letty's Tavern. Seems like a nice place to go after like a little hike or a little camping trip. Come to Letty's Tavern and get some a good hot meal. Right, Margot? She's just sitting here staring at me. Wondering where I moved the plant to. It's not on the desk anymore. She just hop up here and start eating it. Okay, so now we need to go back up this way. Go up past the cafe. Just surrounded in bright flowers. You might have just heard Margot hop off of the desk. <laughs> I like the mix with cedar trees and there's a lot of the, the Zen public works projects, which I like a lot. White flower corner back there. Oh, this is all laid out so well, like the flowers and, and the mushrooms and the presents are all laid in very, very aesthetically pleasing <laughs> sort of spots. And the flowers are laid out really well too. They're laid out to where it, it makes a path, even though, you know, there isn't an obvious QR code or anything like that path laid down. Oh, but the flowers just make it very obvious where you're supposed to go. Oh, and of course the, uh, the yellow town has to have a tent bright yellow tent house. See if its owner or current resident might be inside. Oh, it is! Or he is! Or pfft. The resident's here, yawn. Yep. Same, bro. I feel like a fire that big is kind of dangerous in a tent, but maybe he knows more than I do. <laughs> And I love my little outfit. There were several outfits laid out in the... Oh, I like that path. Laid out in the... Town Plaza. God. <laughs> Cannot say words properly. Another yellow bench. And the lemon trees obviously make it even more yellow and bright and vibrant. Looks like some random kind of flowers down here, which is what I normally have my beach doing. Just a storage for flowers. Then... Oh, we're almost back to the beginning. Okay, so we need to look at this house. Hello! It's B. Wanna play a game? Uh-oh. Like a, a happy game or like a horror movie sort of game? If the former, yes. If the latter, uh-uh. Oh, okay. She just has a lot of video games, that's fine. <laughs> Is it B, like from B and, and Puppy Cat, maybe? I really can't remember what her room looks like, so I couldn't be sure. But that's a cute little studio, um, studio apartment, like little, little looking house. This is such a nice town. I like the time it's set in, too. I guess early spring. And there's the campsite. Missed it the first time around. Oh, and some flower, a little flower bed. And the Zen Town Hall. Yeah, I really like this town. I'm sure you all will, too. So bright and happy. <laughs> Wonderful job, um, the noodle. <laughs> I have nothing else to call you, so I'm calling you the noodle. All right, let's go to our... Oh, and I didn't even look at all the, the little orchard over here with all the different fruit trees. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next town. We are now in the rainy town of Lilac. It is by Tumblr user Pastel Leaf, and I'm loving my adorable little outfit. I like that these first two towns both had the overall dress. It's so peaceful already. I like the rain. I like the, the white flowers and all the clovers. Oh, so many clovers. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this character. She's so cute. Be careful not to slip. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so Allison is the mayor and only human resident here. Love her little zen house. God, every time I make a video, I sound more and more like Bob Ross saying little and cute little and <laughs> happy little tree. 
living room was like cozy but still very light and bright sort of if that makes sense oh look <laughs> the isabel 3ds is this the proper way to there we go it's a new 3ds new 3ds isabel it comes with animal crossing puzzle week nice <laughs> Yeah, I like the Alpine series customized to that dark wood color. It's a good one. <clears throat> what a nice spa. I like the wood from uh, that bathroom matches the tea table. Never noticed that before. Makes it all flow very well together. And I like all the plants. How could I not like the plants? And there's a Wii U! <laughs> Poor neglected Wii U. They need to make a Switch item now. And I love the dark green series! <laughs> or the green series customized to the the dark green option. And all the mayor's outfits back there. Oh, She's ready to take on the spa. Take on, I don't know, looking real pink and cute. So that was a bedroom, so what's upstairs? Ooh, a little office area, office library. That's good for an attic. A library and an office, and I love the cabin rug. Anything wooden, big ol' fan. A greenhouse. I like the little water trough back here. You can fill your, what's it called, watering can <laughs> up there to water everything. It's practical and it looks nice. <sighs> Wonderful house. Good job. Allison, I guess, maybe? Maybe your mayor's name is your name, maybe not, who knows. This, like, kind of sort of reminds me of of Kiyoshi, that Harvest Goddess on, on Tumblr and Instagram, her name's Kaylin, uh, that she made. But still, I mean, very different, but it just sort of sort of reminds me with all the cedars and the clovers and the, and the rain. What's the weather gonna do, I wonder? Let's see here. Looks like it's gonna keep on raining, uh-huh. That's what I thought. Some villager houses up here. And the Zen train station. Oh, the Zen clock. I love all the different public works projects. They're such a good mix. Love me the statue fountain. Little fairy circle around it. And there's more mushrooms down here. What's up? Here, I wonder. Some illuminated trees. Uh, I guess I should go in like the upper, the northwest part of town first. <gasps> what a nice flag! I wish you could. Oh man, like kind of like Stardew Valley, how the update made it to where you could choose what sort of town layout you have. I wish you could do that in in Animal Crossing. You could choose like a mountain town where there are mountains in the background and maybe, you know, cedar trees can grow everywhere. Oh, that would be really cool. Maybe like a beach town where kind of half of it is is sand and you can build build public works projects and houses on the sand. What else? Maybe, yeah, just like a forest town also. Maybe one not necessarily with mountains in the background, but just maybe more trees could grow there, more flowers. I don't know. It'd be cool if they incorporated some RPG elements into Animal Crossing, but I almost don't want them to just because that would... I mean, obviously, this is an RPG, but <laughs> I just mean as far as skills, like leveling up skills and, 
yeah, skills and, and things like that where you can mine and obviously you can already fish and, and catch bugs, but adding more activities and, and foraging like that. But I think that would kind of throw throw it off of the whole Animal Crossing feel. They can they can leave the like heavy RPG elements of things like fantasy life. They need to make a new fantasy life. I love that stinking game. Excuse me. Got some cedars and some clovers on the beach. It's very peaceful down here. And I just need to go up this way. Oh, the camping cot with a book by it, right, right by the beach, but also nestled in with with some trees. Oh no! Who did somebody just? Oh no! Jinji back there fell in a pitfall. Can I? Oh, it's <laughs> gonna go back and and help him, but didn't see him in time. It's always so funny when you see a villager fall in a pitfall. And sad at the same time. <laughs> this is a really, really cool forest town. Love the rain. And all the cedar trees and all the different kinds of flowers. Mostly like white and black. I think it's actually exclusively white and black. But still, some places have uh, almost all white. And some have a bigger mix of them. I don't even know, did I see the cafe earlier? I don't think, and there's books scattered all over the ground, which I love. It's like the, the mayor and the villagers have all been wandering around just reading and leaving their books in places. Yeah, you guys should come visit this town, very peaceful. All right, on to the next one. This last town is called Meowchi. It is by a Tumblr user Milky Crosser. And clearly it is a very bright pink cherry blossom town. Lots of presents laid out here that I'm not going to go through all of just because I want to explore the town. And if you visit for yourself, you should definitely go through all the presents and play around with them in town. <gasps> I like this part. Well, they've used these paths really well to make little, little flower beds with the... Fountain in the middle. Oh, Totoro, um, face cut out. <laughs> the cafe, so many pink flowers. The guys, oh, so many public works projects. I like that moon stepping stone. <sighs> yeah, I really like how the, the paths are so wide and, and they... I don't know, just surround, border the public works projects in a really cool, cool way. It gives a really cool effect. Quite a bit of bamboo. Oh, this is cool. And the stone tablet out front of the fairy tale town hall. All these towns have had really good flags. <laughs> Here's a little, I keep saying little. Here's a little Zen garden. <laughs> I like those designs too, those flower beds. Oh, the pink flowers are just everywhere. <laughs> I love it. There's a bit greener of an area with less pink flowers. I like this a bunch down here. The contrast with the pink flowers is is really nice. All those mushrooms too. Oh, another face cut out. So kawaii. <laughs> and here is Straw Baby's house and there's Miranda and Cheeto. This house is decked out in fairy tale exteriors and I love it. Very pink on the inside as well. Lots of villager pictures. Oh, Sweets, uh, Sweets Cafe Bakery. Mm 
Oh, okay. I thought I heard music coming from, like, the street, but it's... I mean, I knew there was music coming from in the game, but I thought I also heard other music coming from somewhere else. That was strange. <clears throat> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> No more of the sweets furniture. Looks like pretty much the whole... Well, maybe not the whole set. The soft serve lamps. I really like visiting your old stream towns. I'm gonna keep doing these videos for a long time. Don't worry. Uh, people have asked, you know, if they can still submit their their town months from now because they're not anywhere close to being finished and yes definitely i'm going to be doing these dream town tours every week for quite some time even if i you know venture into playing lots of different types of, of video games right now i'm playing through breath of the wild in a video series but i'm, I'm also doing lots of animal crossing still this has a lot of the Welcome Amiibo stuff. Really cute stuff. I like passing through a room and just hearing the music for <laughs> just a second. And the Princess series, more Villager. Oh, and NPC pictures. Lots of white carnations. I love white carnations. They're, they might be my all-time favorite flower, if, if we're being real. I've been thinking about it recently. I've been, you know, it's, it's a question that's been on my mind. What is my favorite Animal Crossing flower? And I just feel like white carnation is it. They've been speaking to me recently. What is your favorite Animal Crossing flower now that I've rambled about mine for a minute? Oh, don't run out of flowers, please. Okay. Yeah, I love the way the paths make. Oh, so many flower beds. They surround the... Oh, I love the pink tulips surrounding all the different public works projects. Oh! A pond with cherry blossoms in it. Oops. I think... No, I saw everything to see over there. Wow. This town is such a fairy tale. <laughs> Was there anything in here? Anything hidden away in the cherry blossom trees that I'm missing? No, I don't think so. Oh, there's Fang up there. <laughs> oh, these have been such good towns today. Thank you all so much for commenting your, your dream town info. I absolutely love exploring them and, and making a video and then getting to share it with, with all of you. It's really spectacular. So much fun. On an end note, I am going to eat a mushroom. <laughs> if you want to follow my other social media, <gasps> wee! <laughs> Links are in the description box. You all have a wonderful day. Be kind to one another. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye!